Oh, he's looking for you. He's looking for you. He's looking. This is Joy Carvin, <laughs> better known as Jake Craven. I've heard him play since I was well. I had my hair. You had your hair, and I've had my brown hair too. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know where you were. I said. He well, said I said, man. And when you know Friday night, you don't get out of eating. So. Like I didn't know it, and we just sitting there talking. And he, I found out his age. <laughs> did he tell you his age? He, he, he did. She, no, she said, I, I, bet you're, I bet you I'm older than you are. So that, that's kind of a compliment. Well, she, well, now, she, well, now, well, now, I'll she's tell you what. He's, kind, he's looking at me. I thought, well, that means she thinks I'm young. <laughs> but actually, I'm two years older than she is. Two years, huh? Two 84. years. 84. I'll be 85 in October. So this, so, uh, so, so, where are you gonna go? So this is your last night here. I'm going home. You're gonna go home. <laughs> Amen. Now here's another famous player. Oh, yeah, this player. guy this is one of his students. Okay. Booker T. Scruggs. Well, uh, actually, Jake Ravens is my role model. Yes, I'm gonna grow up to be just like him. Oh, That's what I'm gonna do. Hey. <laughs> are you playing tonight? Yeah, I'm with the choir. He's with the choir. Yeah. Okay. okay. Old broadcaster here. <laughs> Love it. Right. Love it. All right. Love it. Thank you. Good to see you. All right. I'm well, thank trying. you for. Yeah. 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 Well, Jay, best wishes to yes, you. Indeed. And thanks for all you've done for us, because you really have chatted all a good treasure. All that, all that uh, PR today. Uh -huh. All that stuff you did. Well, we got to give you a full house here. I mean, you know, honor you. I'm, I'm not honored here. I'm just playing. You're the one that's responsible. You started it. I did start it. That's you true. started it. Tell, tell him how you started it. Can you tell me real fast how it, how it started? I flipped the coin. <laughs> what? No, I, when I left the symphony, I just, I was trying to think of something else I could do. I was doing a lot of other things. And I, th and I heard a clarinet choir. I said, you know, I think we ought to have a Chattanooga clarinet choir. So I advertised and everything. And the first I had a place, we met over at the old Chattanooga High School, which is CSAS. Okay, how many people showed up on that? Eight or nine. Eight? <laughs> And they came over and took a picture of us, and we kept promoting it, and some more came in there, and it got bigger and bigger, and this last year, 10-14, uh, uh, 2014, and last, uh, let's see, was it, it's last January, uh, July, it, there's an international conference for clarinets called the Clare Fest. And it goes all over the world. The year before they were in Italy, and then they come to America. Last year they were. Two years ago they were in Italy. Last year they were in Baton Rouge. And you have to turn in recordings and you have to turn on things. And they selected us as one of the performers. Wow. Tell him about your association with Benny Goodman. Oh yeah, Benny Goodman. And, uh, I met him in 1952. I, uh, I was really blessed and uh, excited. I was only 22 years old. <laughs> Starstruck. Yeah. <laughs> I, well, I, I'm going to, yeah, listen, you're going to be here. I'm going to tell you all about that. Okay, I'll be here. I'm going to do a thing at the end. It's a medley. I mean, you got a program, and I'm doing a medley. First is thanks for the memory, and then I'm doing, I'm going to talk about Benny Goodman, then I'm going to do, you know, he was one of probably the well, only one, I, or maybe there might have been another one he might know. All the bands, dance bands, had a theme song, like Glenn Miller, right, Moonlight right. Serenade, and they'd end with it. But Benny Goodman would play Let's Dance at the beginning, and at the end, when it got real quiet, he wanted everybody to slow down, and, you know, and he, he, wrote, he got this song. Goodbye. 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 And that's what I'm going to play. Love it. An old song. Beautiful, beautiful. Da, 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 da. We want to sing some more. <laughs> Great. You're, you're wasting your time with it. <laughs> Hiya. 
I like to document history, uh -huh. and you are a part of Chattanooga history. Well, I whether feel, you admit it or not, well, you are. I feel are. blessed. I feel blessed. You, uh, you're, you're good awesome. Lord's been good to me. COPD and I are not getting along very well. Uh, I thought it's about time for me to uh, move on. And so, uh, with the thanks of uh, a lot of people, I decided to ask uh, Jan if I can, Nick, if I could do a piece at the end. We said no. Yeah. Let's <laughs> well, anyway, I'm still here, you know. So. So, it won't be long now. But won't be long. I just thought I'd do a medley medley for you of three songs of, um, that are really favorites of mine. The second one is really different. I don't know how many of you know that one. But I really want to talk about <coughs> all the memories that I've had, especially with this group. So, uh, with respect to Bob Hope, <laughs> we will start off with the first of three minutes. Maestro. <laughs> <coughs> Ladies first. So I decided to go ladies first. 
So they're both equal. Jan Wilkinson, stand up, please. Yeah. Without Jan Wilkinson, she's our manager. She does all the work, hard work. And she has really been wonderful, wonderful. And we're just so thankful for her. And then our artistic director and concertmaster, Nick Hartline. <laughs> Nick is just a wonderful musician, and uh, he is our artistic director, and he's been so much, and he's out and brought a lot of young people into the choir, for which we're grateful, and he is just a wonderful guy. You remember that name, Nick Cartline. I won't be around, but you remember that name. <laughs> he's going to be something else. He already is. The fourth one is our treasure, Jackie Schellerbar. All the money. We don't have a lot. Of course, if you have any you'd like to give us, we take it. <laughs> but she does a terrific job. I had the privilege of playing with Jackie in the symphony back in the 70s when she was a little younger. And so was I. <laughs> you know, anyway, and then now I want to I want to rec uh, uh, introduce you to two very y'all keep standing. Two very special people. These people. A remarkable. I, and now I'll tell you why. They were with me when I started in 1998. The first one is Arlene Sneed. Where are you, Arlene? Stand up. <laughs> and Steve Barrett. Where's Steve? I can't believe they put up with me that long. <laughs> but I remember when we first started. You remember that was the I do. She was something, there was something else. Anyway, and also, I want to recommend and talk to you about two other people. No, no, I don't. We, I want the whole plan that part said. Y'all, all of us said. <laughs> I wrote all this out. Okay. But uh, before I do that, I want to recognize, see if there's any, I know there's one of these people here. I don't know who it is. Nikki Chiero here by intense. There she is. Nick, Dr. Nicholas Chiero. Nicholas, we call her Nick. Nick Chiero. Playing in a, a UTC. I had the privilege of having her in a youth symphony years ago and having her as one of uh, uh, many who have really blessed my life. And Nikki, she been something else. And we, we've had these festivals at UTC with the Clarinet Choir and the, what, what do you call it? The, what is the name of it? River, River, River City. City. Winter River City Festival. Winter Clarinet Festival. Winter festival. Winter festival. Okay, I got it right. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just grown. We've had people all over, and young people come. And Nikki's had such a part and a blessing in my life. And the other one I want to recognize is the man who arranged <coughs> this music, Dan Hanson. He's not only a wonderful friend, he's a he's a wonderful musician, plays in the Jericho Brass, and he arranged these this arrangements for him. Where's Dan, where's where is it? I don't know what else to say to finish out this segment, except I would like to do this. I wouldn't plan on doing this, but I want you to know what the first verse said. Yeah, thanks for the memory of the things I can't forget of 16 years ago, and yet the dream I had of a clarinet choir was certainly not a bet how lucky I was. That was the first course where I couldn't find the music. <laughs> Anyway, to close out this segment, I don't know anything else to say. Thanks, you Lord, for all these. <laughs> Yesterday when I 
was young. That was a long time ago, a lot of yesterdays. 1941, I picked up the clarinet. I had such many wind problems with my lungs, and it's changed my whole life. And my brother, bless his heart, he went studying to be an artist, and later on became a professor at the University of Florida. Anyway, he would play three genres of music while he was working. Classical music, Bach, Beethoven, Brahms, etc. Country music, Roy Acuff, all that stuff. You know, you know, walking the floor over you. <laughs> and then the big band stuff from the 1940s. And my, 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 my people that I really enjoyed was Artie Shaw and Benny Goodman. And I wanted to play that music. And I practiced it a lot. And go forth 10 years, 19, about 1952, I was in the symphony and they moved me up the first clarinet. And in October of 1952, guess who came here? Benny Goodman. And I got to meet him. I got to talk with him. And he, he rose up and they had a great, they had a jam session after it got through. And a bunch of them got up and jammed with him. And they, I don't remember all they played, but they played Sweet Georgia Brown was one. And the other one was... Uh, I can't give you anything but love, baby. <laughs> I'll never forget that. Thir 23 years later, he came back in 1975, or 76, right in there, and played again with the CSO, we played another favorite piece, and he sat down on the stage and played some songs. I'll never forget him playing Send in the Clowns, just by himself. But anyway, he, we talked, and he signed a lot of records. I had some old records. And it was just a, like a reunion. Never forget that. I feel blessed. And he was, in 1986, I heard he was coming to Riverbend. We were having a Riverbend. And he was going to be the guest soloist. And he died in New York a week before. And they found his sister, his daughter found him. At the, at, he'd been practicing the Brahms Second Sonata. And he put his instrument down and died. But anyway... Benny Goodman had a great effect on my life. And I don't know whether you know this or not. You know, all the big bands had themes. Miller had, uh, what is it? Uh, uh, yeah, what is Miller's? Moonlight Serenade. Moonlight Serenade. All of them. But not many of them had two. He, Benny Goodman had an opening one called Let's Dance. But he also had one at the end. One at the end. And everybody got the lights got down low when the band would play this song. And so I thought, as I go out, I'm going to play this song one more time for you and them. And thank you for everything. Thank you. Anyway, all I have to say is goodbye. <laughs>